Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the Haunted Basement Studio. I'm your host, Triple B, and in this hardcore comic book review, I am doing The Terminator from Dynamite Entertainment. And yes, this came out a few weeks ago, so we are going to go through it. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it, and again, remember, there's going to be spoilers here on this one. So let's get to it. So, the book starts off with a Terminator landing down on Earth, and there is a narrator saying how much time we got. We never know, and sometimes time moves slowly, and sometimes time moves fast. But remember, there's always time behind you, and there's always time in front of you. And now we cut to Alaska 2018, where there's a cabin on a lake, and there's an old couple that's living there. And the old lady Penny tells her husband to go outside to go fishing. And so as he goes out on the boat on the lake, all he is pulling up with his fishing rod are old metal parts. And it gets you thinking. And then all of a sudden you see a beam coming out of the water. It must be the Terminator because the guy sees it and he's like, oh shit. And he takes his boat and he goes back to the cabin where he's running. Penny! Penny, he found us. It is time for us to light the box. And now Penny yells, Harper, I I don't know what to do. And he grabs her. He's like, you do know what to do. We just got to stay calm. We need to light the box. And as he opens up the closet door, he grabs a gun, a rifle. And as Penny is lighting this box, looks like she's going to set the cabin on fire. And just about the time that he grabs that rifle, the Terminator walks in through the front door. And then Harper grabs the gun and he puts it right to the Terminator's head. And he blows it off. And all the skin from the Terminator goes flying off and he's left in a metal form. And as Penny lights up the cabin on fire, the Terminator grabs Harper by his face. And Penny says, what are you doing to him? As the whole cabin starts to set on fire. And then we're going to go back to 1978 where Penny and Harper are living in the city. Harper and Penny are now in a hotel room and are saying ever since we got married, the world has gone to hell. There has been a nuclear war that is going on and there is somebody that is chasing them from town to town. Every time they get away, this person finds them and they don't know who it is. They like, he can't be working for the government, but we don't know why he keeps on chasing us. He's already killed our parents and he's killed Penny's brother. And then Harper says, well, we need to leave this town. We're going to go head for Seattle and we got to make sure that we cover our tracks so that he does not follow us there. And as they get in a cab to take off, you see the Terminator and he goes into their hotel room and he rumbles through their garbage and he finds a receipt that says Seattle. And now Penny and Harper are getting onto the plane and right as they get onto the plane, they start to take off down the runway. But the Terminator appears and they're like, oh my God, there he is. What are we gonna do? And Harper says, this is what I'm gonna do. And he takes the plane and he runs right through the Terminator. But they just think it's a normal guy at this point. And as they start to ascend up in the air, they're like, thank God that we finally got rid of him for good. But all of a sudden, the Terminator is there with his metal hand and he's holding onto the door and he's trying to break into the plane. And Harper says, man, we ain't going to be able to fly much longer if this guy is still on the plane. But the plane goes up and the door breaks off and the Terminator goes falling down to the ground and he lands into like the ocean. And then they get away. And then now we fast forward back to 2018 with the house burning and Harper and Penny are inside as they burn this place to the ground with the Terminator in it and they die. End of the story. 
Well, not quite the end of the story as Harper and Penny lay there burning to death. The Terminator is walking through the flames and he walks out of the cabin and he walks right into the lake and he disappears underneath the water. And that's how it ended. But then the very next page, we got a beginning part of a new story. And there's only like two pages to this beginning part of the story. It shows like a Terminator coming out of the desert, out of the ground. He's naked and he's walking. He's in some foreign land. And then it shows him like getting hit by a car. And then his eyes look at the person that hit him in the car and it starts scanning who that guy was that was driving. Pretty much that was it. The end of issue number one. So kind of strange for me that issue number one almost felt like a one shot except for the last part where they're like there's another story so i think what they did was they gave us the first story with harper and penny showing that the terminator is out to get you and will always find you because they hid from this terminator for decades and every day they were just wondering looking over their back if the grim reaper was going to show up and they knew one day that he would and in this issue in 2018, the Grim Reaper did show up and he took them down. But they tried to take the Terminator down with them by burning the house. But apparently, you know, the Terminator just walks right through flames. So, my final ranking of this issue. I mean, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think it could have been a little bit better. Um, the art was in it was okay. The... I like the story, I guess. The story was nice and quick, a one shot, but like I'm expecting an ongoing series, but maybe they just threw that one shot story at the beginning to let you know who the Terminator is and be prepared for what's coming next. So I'm hoping for the latter on this one. I'm thinking it's gonna get better with each issue because I just pre-ordered issue number four and I haven't even received issue number two yet. Hell yeah. Thank you all for joining me, Brent Bromberg, Triple B, in the Haunted Basement Studio. And let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do issue number two when it comes out. The Terminator from Dynamite Entertainment. This is written by Shalvi right here. So we're going to, um, yeah, let me know down in the comment section below. And let me know if you like this fast review that I did because it's a little bit different from what I usually do. And you guys remember one thing. You keep it hardcore. Comics. Later.